passing game for the four and five Cowboys. Shannon has been reminding Skip of that. Last week, Jerry Jones said he plans on extending Dak even though he won't become a free agent until 2020. And yesterday, Cowboys legend Troy Aikman gave his thoughts. I think that he's going to continue to improve. And I think the great thing about a guy like him, if you do invest that kind of money in, in him, you, you know what you're going to get. And there are some players I think you worry a little bit about once they get the big payday. But with Dak, I, I know that he'll be even more committed to, to being great and helping this team go on and win a championship. So I, I certainly wouldn't hesitate to pay him. But the longer you can hold that off just to be certain of your evaluations, I, I don't see anything wrong with that either. We're now joined by Fox mm. NFL analyst Greg Jennings. Hey, Greg. Wow. Good Thanks morning. Thanks for being here. It's a simple question. Should Dallas pay Dak? Yes, they should pay Dak. How and much? That's the question. <laughs> that's the question. And, and, and when you look at it, the reality of it is, is they don't have to pay him right now. They actually could wait through the end of next season mm -hmm. to pay him and make that decision. Mm -hmm. However, you run a risk. You run a major risk. And this is why what Troy Aikman is saying is absolutely 100% correct. I believe if you pay Dak Prescott, you will not get a guy that's going to uh, backtrack. You're going to get a guy that's going to be even more committed, more loyal, more demanding of even himself to perform at a high level. The question becomes, though, if you choose to wait and you put pieces around him and he comes back to performing like he did or better year one, now you have to back up that Brinks truck and dump a, a lot more of that bag into his back pocket. And so for me, I think you pay him now because Jerry Jones, one thing about being in a locker room and being within the confines of, of the walls of, of, of the locker room, you know who guys are, and they know who they see every single day on the practice field as a leader, all these tangibles that make him a great asset. Yes, does he have some things that we would like to see him improve upon on the field? Accuracy, timing, delivering the ball, not getting rid of the ball, mm -hmm. 100%. I think these things can be addressed. Now, obviously, they'll have to make some more decisions. Does Jason Garrett and Linehan stay? Yep. If they if they move out, then you get him, pair him with someone else that he can thrive with, that he can grow with. But I think the decision is to pay Dak Prescott, pay him now, because you know he can be a promising quarterback in this National Football League. Mm. What are the problems, Gil? And like I said, I mean, I think the thing is that when you look at where is the scale, is it the, the Case Keenum, Blake Bortles right there, uh, uh, Ryan Tannehill, that 16, 18 million, or do we start at 20 and go to the Aaron Rodgers 33 and a half? Worse than the scale, Jimmy Garoppolo got 27 and a half. Alex Smith is 23 and a half. So I'm sure Dak is looking at, hold on. You mean to tell me y'all think I'm going to take less than Jimmy Garoppolo with seven starts and I've been starting since day one? I'm going to have three years of starts up under my belt. I'm taking you to the playoffs. Possibility he goes this year. Well, let me take that back. I've gotten one playoff run under my belt. <laughs> I had to rephrase that. Yeah, mm. babies, I want you to get all excited over there. I, I'm already excited because it's happening. This is the Greg thing. Greg Jennings agreed yesterday it's happening. They it? have to. They're going to have to pay him now because if you don't pay him now, you wait the next year. Zeke going to want money. Demarcus Lawrence, Jalen Smith. Skip, I don't know. How do you? And, but here's the thing. You still got Tyron Smith on a max contract mm -hmm. for a left tackle. You got That's Travis right. Frederick on no. a max contract at a center. You got right guard Zach Martin. Mm -hmm. Skip, you can, there's only so much I money agree. to go around. Yep. And then you're going to have to make a decision on Mark Cooper. Now, you do mm -hmm. have him on the contract for about, what, 14.9 next mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to make a decision. on. You almost have to keep him because you gave up a first rounder to get him. They already said this is for the long haul. Yeah, so, yeah. so, so. Going right for a wide receiver somewhere, you know, somewhere between 15 and probably $17 million when you do this. Hmm. So they have to do it, Skip, because they don't. there's not a viable option. It's not like they got a first-round pick that they can go into the draft in 2019 hmm. and get a quarterback. They got him, their first-round pick for 2019 is Amari Cooper hmm. because that's what they gave up to get him. Hmm. You almost have to because – and you overpay for quarterback, Skip, because they're so hard to find. Mm -hmm. And if you think you have a decent one, you better keep him, mm. and you better lock him up for the for the very foreseeable mm. future.
So are you saying that Dallas is stuck with Dak? Is that your conclusion? Yeah, I feel comfortable. Are, are you saying it's by default that they should re-sign him? Well, it doesn't matter, Skip. It doesn't no. matter. They got him. That's no. what they got. Huh. This is the quarterback you have basically said is a bust. This is the quarterback <laughs> that you have constantly ridiculed day after day after day. Are, are you just trying to wish him upon Dallas because that will keep Dallas as mediocre at best? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? All I'm saying is that Brock Osweiler has a 300-yard passing game this mm -hmm. year. Does he have any more weapons than what Dak Prescott have in Dallas? Mm. Oh, that's what I said, too. Mm. So, yes, I, am, I am 100% sold on Dak and what, whatever. I'm with you. I would do it sooner than later. I don't know when exactly sooner needs to be, but I would pay him what, whatever the market will bear. He will be worth it in the long haul. I'm convinced of him as a leader, as a warrior, and as a big game, big stage, fourth quarter playmaker. And I agree with everything you just said. Does he hold the ball too long? Does he get a little gun shy? Does he, d does he force balls that he shouldn't force? Yes, yes, yes. And to your point, it, if I put him in a vacuum, does he have the arm talent that, that Patrick Mahomes boy has or Aaron <laughs> Rodgers? Nope, he nope. doesn't have that kind of arm talent. Does he have a good arm? Yep, yeah. he's got a good arm. He has an NFL when, arm. When he gets in rhythm, is he accurate? He can be deadly accurate. When he gets on a roll, because he'll just long drive you to death. Once he gets going, once he gets a flow going, as he did against Philly, at Philly on Sunday night, he had four long drives, a field goal and three touchdowns. He had two long fourth quarter drives that won the football game. He made play after third down play in those drives. At Washington, did he make the one mistake that's just a fatal mistake? He lost the football in his end zone. You can't do it. Nope. But did he almost overcome it with 120 yards passing in the fourth quarter, making warrior play after play? That's why Jerry Jones said after that game, I can win a lot of games with that guy as my quarterback. He put them in position to kick a field goal to force overtime, and the refs called the most bogus flinch penalty I've ever seen on the center flinch. Didn't the NFL say it was the field of <laughs> They were wrong. They just said it was spin doctor control. Don't right? do that, Skip. No, it was. Can I ask you one question? I'm going to ask you one question. You said, okay, you want to see them surround Dak with more talent. You start paying quarterbacks excess of $100 million, how much talent can you put around them? Well, all of a sudden, if you go ahead, and again, I'm not a capologist, but if you can pay Amari and pay Dak, and you've already got the others under contract, Michael Gallup is coming as a wideout. Alan Hearns is not bad as a wideout, and Cole Beasley is already under contract, and he's pretty great. You know, and as as number 19 starts to draw more and more double coverage, all of a sudden, Cole Beasley's going to get open a whole lot more. And Michael Gallup's going to get open, and Alan Hearns will get open. And all of a sudden, you got a group where you say, these guys are pretty good. You know who, guess who else is going to get open? Oh, Zeke. What you going to do with Zeke? Zeke want to eat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zeke. Zeke says, I I, I'm not going to be in no situation as Le'Veon Bell. The, the last time I looked, Dallas was way, at, like, like had the third most cap space in football. I think that's all doable. Yeah, but you, because you got your quarterback on a rookie contract, you talk about paying him. Greg says pay him. That could eat a lot of that cap up. Mm -hmm. Boy, nothing eat a cap like a quarterback. Mm -hmm. Man, them jokes eat a cap up. Mm -hmm. Look at Aaron Rodgers and Matt Ryan and Matthew Stafford, Andrew Luck. Look at all these guys. Look at Minnesota. But I think this is why <laughs> this is why you pay him now because. Oh, yeah. Dallas, the Cowboys have more leverage than Ezekiel, oh, excuse me, than Dak Prescott right yes. now. They can kind of force him to take what they want him to take. He can say what he he wants and what the market has has rendered for all these other quarterbacks. But we are going off of what you've been able to do and not been able to do for us, and what we hope that you're able to do. And when it comes to the guys around him. When you add a guy like Amari Cooper and he plays like a number one guy, mm -hmm. all of the other guys will get better. You yeah. got it. And you don't have to pay them the way you pay Amari Cooper. All those other guys will improve because they they take they get pressure alleviated from them because of the play mm -hmm. of a guy like Amari Cooper. And your quarterback will get better. So I don't think that this is a situation where you're worried or you're backing into yep. paying a Dak Prescott. You want him to be your guy. You believe right. he's your guy. You've evaluated him more than anybody in this Correct. National Football I'm League. I'm going to say this one more time. You devalue Dak Prescott for what happened at the end of last year and the beginning of this year. But his first 25 games in the National Football League were the highest quality. His 13-3 and rookie year followed by a playoff game against Aaron Rodgers in which he did throw for over 300 and three touchdowns. Was that the last time? 
No, it was not the last time. And then the first eight games last year, they were five and three after the first eight games, and he was 16 touchdowns to four interceptions. Go tell me they weren't big time games. Go show me, uh, go, go look at the tape against Aaron Rodgers three times. He outplayed him all three times on the biggest stage in the sport. I'm sorry, I, I'm taking So he was 16 and four. Mm -hmm. and then what happened after that? Mm -hmm. He started five and three, and then what This game at Atlanta last year, Zeke got suspended, Ty Smith couldn't go, Sean Lee was hurt. That's the time yeah. that I need to see but, that mm -hmm. deliver us from evil. Yeah. And, no Zeke, and no Tyron Smith. Des Bryant was delivering you to evil no, no, see, that by, you see. by leading the league in drops. You see what he does? You see what he does? I do, I do. Agree. but here's the thing. like we, We've been enamored by all these great quarterbacks being able to lead these teams teams with nothing. Maybe that's not Dak Prescott right now. And that and Dallas understands that's okay. Mm -hmm. We yeah. want to be able to build around that's him. All I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, Skip. Mm. I, mean, I don't interesting. want you to give I don't want you to take uh, give him all the credit, but then remove all the blame. Mm. That's all, right. all I'm saying, Skip. We gotta I'm good move on. to go.